All right, so I'm recording here. Um, I want to just basically uh, bring in the sun path diagram into this now. So if you guys could just turn off your monitors for a moment. Um, in order to do that, I think I need to disable all of this or either that or I'll save it as a different file. So right now this is unnamed, so I'm going to go ahead and save it. File, save as, and I'm going to put the document. I'm going to save it as... Um, analyzing climate uh, information all right or visualizing climate information so let me go ahead and put that in my Dropbox All right, so once I've saved that as visualizing weather data, I can now save it again, file save as, and this time I'm going to save it as um, the sun path. All right, once I save it as the sun path, I can delete. Um, all of the extraneous information that I don't that I'm not going to be using any longer so um, I'm gonna just go ahead I'm gonna zoom in here and get rid of uh, the two other climate zones that I don't need actually the one that I want to keep climate zone 10 because that's the one that's pertinent to what you guys are doing in studio so I'll delete these And I don't, I don't need to visualize any of this stuff anymore, so I'm just going to go ahead and dump it all. It's saved in another file anyways. Okay, so back to SunPath, which we started to look at just the other day. So under, again, under visualizing weather data, if we drop in the SunPath um, component, you'll see that it's looking for a either a north or a location. And so I'm going to take the location out of the 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 um, EPS weather data file and feed it into location on the sun path diagram. All right. When I do that, I'm going to move it down here so that I can plug some things into it. Um, the sun path comes up. Now, your homework assignment is going to be to take your building design and drop it inside of the sun path. Okay. So last time that I did this, I, I just put a, a little rectangle right there. But you guys are, what I'm going to ask you guys to do is I'm going to ask you to put your building inside of here and scale this to an appropriate size to where it's far enough away from the building to where the sun angles mean something to you. Okay? Anthony, hopefully that means something to you right now. Because you were asking a question last time about how accurate the thing is. It's just a visualization tool. You can't. If you to make it accurate, I mean, the sun is I don't know how many light years away from the Earth. That's not even measured in miles. <laughs> okay, so so this would be huge, and you would be a speck in the center of it. So what do you mean? To, you want us to scale it? You can make this larger so that it's further away from your building if you needs to be. Okay. Okay. So let's take a look at uh, a few of the parameters inside of the sun path. Um, component okay so first of all um, there's a there's a thing here that allows you to put in the time of day okay the hour of day so for example if I and if you look at it it'll, it'll tell you what the the number needs to be it says between 1 and 24 so if I put in a number slider and I say 1 less than 24 I can feed that into the hour
It seems to be acting rather buggy. I'm going to disconnect that for a moment. All right, so let's go on to month, okay? So the month of the year is going to correlate to a number between 1 and 12, okay? Um, I think it says to go from 0 to 12, but I'm not sure if that exactly works. It says 1 to 12, so we'll put in, we'll do the same thing. I'm actually create one from 1 less than 12. And we'll feed that into month. Okay? And so I'm going to spin this thing because it looks like the it looks like June is here and December is back here. So in order to jump from June to December, which are one month apart, you have to run the number slider way over. Okay? Um, I'll, in a little bit, I'll show you an alternate method of setting up a, um, a way of selecting the months. Right now, I just want you guys to be aware that you guys can look at it from the perspective of December, or you can go to month six, and you, that'll be June. That's the summer solstice, so it's at the highest point in the sky. Uh, remember that you can look at this as a three-dimensional object here. You can look at it as a two-dimensional object from above here, and you can also look at it from the frontal view or the right side view. Okay. Um, all right. So some of the other things that that uh, that you guys may um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and try and plug this back in and see what happens. I think it runs in the like the army time. Uh, and what did I set this one up as? I just put it in the army time. Yeah, I'm gonna disconnect that. I'm not. I, I'm gonna have to look into why it's why it's creating an error. More important than the time of day, okay? Because time of day is gonna get it to move from here to here. Um, is going to be uh, the time of year for the height. Um, I, I think I understand what this is doing. So I'm going to move this back into a range where the sun will show up. Okay. So there is a time period when the sun will get all the way down to the horizon and it won't show up anymore. So, for example, if I step this over, you see the sun going down closer to the horizon, right? And so at, at a certain point, the sun goes beyond the horizon and it creates a dysfunction here. Okay? So, all right. So a couple of other things that I want you guys to be aware of. Sun path scale. So the sun path scale right now is set to 1. If you need to make it larger, you can drop a number slider in there. And you can adjust the scale of how big the object is in relationship to what's inside of it. Okay? So that allows you to kind of adjust the size. I'm going to leave it at 1 for now. All right? Um, another, the one directly underneath it will just merely allow you to, to make the little ball of the sun larger or smaller. Okay? Um, further down the... the um, Further down the list is solar time or standard time, okay? And that deals with um, whether or not you're in daylight savings time or you're just dealing with hours of sunlight from sunrise to sunset, okay? And for our purposes, I would just make sure that you leave it as true so that we're not worrying about, um, we're not worrying about the, um, the offset in time between daylight savings and non-daylight savings, okay? So I'm going to set this back to 12 so that it puts it at midday. 
okay? And so again, if this was in daylight savings, we'd have problems depending on our location, all right? Right now, it's just basically showing it at solar noon, halfway through, okay? All right. Um, what I would like you guys to do with this, as I was mentioning uh, when I first started showing it to you, is I would like you to put your building at the center of this and make this large enough to where you can get angles of bearing for the sun down to your building depending on the time of day okay and that's going to be the only homework that I'm going to assign because I need you guys to focus on what's happening in design 4 so hopefully you can use some of the data that's coming out of this thing to augment what's going on in design 4 uh, but one of the things in the future that I really want to see is your building inside of the solar path diagram. Okay? Any questions? So I'll stop this and I'll just record the homework, which is very basic. <laughs>